we're going to head right into flat groundwork now. Um, we're going to play catch, but there's a specific way that pitchers play catch. They're going to turn sideways when they throw the baseball. They're going to find that same posture we've been talking about all day long in both videos. Slightly flexed in the knees. The same basic posture they would have as a hitter is now their play catch posture on flat ground. They're going to hands are going to be right in front of their body, just like in a stretched position. Their bottom half is going to do something a little different. They're going to step behind, all right? Step behind, find equal and opposite, and rotate into a firm glove. We're going to throw short, medium, and long toss, and long as to tolerance. Today, it's, it's a nice, cool day. The weather's good. Uh, a long toss session might take 120, 130 feet. Never cast the ball. If it gets to a point where it's too far to throw on a fly, one hop the ball. It's extremely important to understand that a release point one hopping is way better than casting. All right, with that in mind, let's go ahead and we'll start the drill. Brian, Brian, and Mike, on your own to your level of tolerance, let's throw a few at this distance and we'll start stretching it out. You ready? Step behind, equal and opposite. And when you finish, if you watch these guys, just keep throwing, gentlemen. When they finish throwing, every one of them, eyes are level, gloves gonna be out in front. Glove, eyes, ball. Find the posture. Keep the posture. Step behind. Elbows up, equal and opposite. Glove, eyes, ball, out in front. Now I'm gonna take a second here. Hang on just a second, Brian. Let's watch uh, Brian one and Mike throw. Look where the glove is relative to the front foot and the glove stays out in front. It feels rather silly when you first get it started. You will come into a feel of your own. You'll start interpreting with your own feel where that glove should be when you throw the ball. The bottom line is don't let it come away from the distance you've achieved at front foot strike. Brian two, go ahead and throw it back here. Glove, eyes, ball, very nice. Eyes should stay level to the horizon. Axis of rotation is late. All right, let's all move back. Go ahead and take it back about 60 feet. Obviously, you'll do this to tolerance. That's great, guys. Let's throw out three or four at this distance, then we'll max out. We'll go to the next part of the drill. Glove, eyes, ball. Try to keep the ball within the frame of the body you're throwing to. While we're talking, I'll pick on you, Brian number one. Right or left is what? When you miss your partner, right or left, I just saw you miss a ball, so I'm gonna ask, because I don't want to bug him, he's too close. When your partner misses right or left, or you miss right or left, what is it? What he just said, if you couldn't hear on camera, it's posture. If you miss right or left when you're playing catch, or throwing to a catcher off the hill, right or left is usually posture. High or low is the relationship of glove to ball getting big. What you want to do is have everything cone to a release point out in front. Let's go about three more this distance, guys. Glove, eyes, ball. Very good, Brian. Very good. Feels good to be moving around, doesn't it? Very nice. One more each, and then take it back to a full 90 feet. Everybody doing okay? No bad throws. High or low, glove. Right or left, posture. All right, move it back about 90 feet, guys. Let's go about three or four throws at this distance, and then we'll go to our knee drill. Let her rip. Glove, eyes, ball. Glove, eyes, ball. When you finish, the glove should be within the width of the body, out front. Step behind, equal and opposite, glove, eyes, ball.